Good day, grade tens. In this lesson, we're going to apply the knowledge we learned or gained in our last lesson. In our last lesson, we learned about the Cartesian plane and the cast diagram. So now what we're going to be doing is using the cast diagram to solve some problems. So let's look at an example. It says K minus 7 Y is a point on the Cartesian plane. And OK, where O is the center of always the Cartesian plane, makes an angle theta and equals 13. So let's have a little drawing. First of all, you always have to draw your cast diagram. So it's all stations to Cape Town. They tell you that K is minus 7Y. So because they don't say minus Y will give us any inf other information, I'm assuming that it's going to be minus 7Y. Okay, that there is angle theta, that there is minus 7y, that means that that length is minus 7, and they tell us that OK, I don't know why I put an S here, O because that's was sign, OK is going to be 13. So we can use Pythagoras to work out this side here, yeah, the opposite side. So we can say that the opposite side is equal to the square root of 13 squared minus 7 minus 7 squared. So it's the square root of 169 minus 49, which equals the square root of 120. Okay, so therefore this length here is the square root of 120 and you can leave it as a cert, there's no reason to change it. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change to different colors so we can see what I'm doing. Now it says determine tan theta minus cos theta. So again remember we need sarcotoa. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. So that is going to be root 120 over negative 7 minus cos theta which is adjacent of our hypotenuse adjacent of our hypotenuse so it becomes minus 7 over 13 and then we can just pop this in a calculator so let me just get my calculator out okay and we can clear it and we can say right bracket root shift root of 120 divided by negative 7 close brackets minus bracket negative 7 divided by 13 close the bracket and you get negative 1.026 so it becomes negative 1.03 so this is equal to negative 1.03. In the next question, they've got 4 sine theta. So what are they doing? They're going 4 times the trig function of sine theta. Sine theta is opposite of our hypotenuse. So in this case, it's going to be root 120 over 13. And again, I'm just going to get my calculator out. And I'm going to go right. We have got 4 times bracket shift root 120 divided by 13 close bracket and that becomes 3.37 easy now 3.37 cosecant now the reason I put this in here is because it's nice to remember that we have reciprocals so in case you don't remember them, cosecant is, is the reciprocal of sine theta. So it's 1 over sine theta. So that's the same as saying 1 divided by sine theta, which in this case is 1 divided by the opposite over the hypotenuse. So it's going to be root 120 over 13. But when we divide by a fraction, what do we do? We tip in times. So that is just equal to 13 over the square root of 120. And you can leave the answer like that, no problem. Right, let's look at another example. In this question, they've got 5 sine theta is equal to 2. 
and theta is between 0 and 270 and it says calculate the value of sine squared theta plus cos squared theta right now they love asking questions like this it's actually a very traditional question for the examiners to ask first of all they tell you that this theta is between 0 and 270 so in other words it's in the first quadrant the second quadrant or the third quadrant isn't that nice Okay, and then if we solve for this, if we solve for this, we can say that if we've got 5, sine theta is equal to 2, then sine theta is equal to 2 over 5, which is actually positive. And so in this case, what's nice is we can either use, remember this is all stations to Cape Town, that means that sine is positive in both the first quadrant and the second quadrant. And quite candidly, ladies and gentlemen, if I have an option, I will always go with my first quadrant. It just makes life so much easier. So there's your theta. Sine, remember, sakatoa. Sakatoa. So your sine theta is opposite of our partners. That is. 2 and that is 5 so of course how do we get this adjacent side we have to use Pythagoras so we can say okay fine the adjacent side is equal to the square root of the hypotenuse squared so that is 25 minus the opposite side squared 4 which is going to give us a square root of 21 square root of 21 and now they ask us, I'm going to just change colors again so you can, let's use a purple. We now have been asked to solve this, to simplify, calculate the value of sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. So let's do that. Sine squared theta is opposite of our part news all squared. So the opposite is 2 and our part news is 5. So we've got 2 over 5 all squared plus cos squared theta. Now cos squared theta is adjacent of our part new. So that becomes a root 21 over 5 all squared. So 2 squared is 4 over 25 plus root 21 times root 21 is just 21 over 25 and if you put that in your calculator, because we've got a common denominator of 25, it becomes 25 over 4 plus, I mean under, 4 plus 21, which is also 25, which equals 1. And we have just proved one of the identities that you're going to use later on. That's sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. And that's an identity, a trig identity that we are going to use later on. So grade 10, this is how we use the cast diagram to help us solve or evaluate trigonometrical functions. Please make sure you know how to use the cast diagram and do lots of examples and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.